Hello and welcome back to Flamingo Stitches tutorial on how to knit. Today we're going to do pearl stitches which will allow you to then do stocking stitch. Please comment, like, subscribe and hit those bells. So let's get started. So today we've got this really nice pink wool that we're going to be using. I'm not sure what brand it is unfortunately but it is again double knit wool. We're still going to be using our 4mm needles as you can see. I've got my scissors, I've got my tapestry needle. So I think we're all about ready to go. This is what we're going to be making today. So this is a stocking stitch. This is the right side of stocking stitch and this is the wrong side. Um, it's super easy. It will be using the knit, knit stitch that we did last video. So yeah, I think we're about ready to go. I've got, so I've already started doing some knit, um, stocking stitch here so that we can dive straight in without having to do casting on and whatnot again and just so that at the end I don't have to quite do as many rows before casting off. I've also tried to keep the edges a little bit neater and I'll show you how I did that in just a second. So the first thing that we're going to do to want to make those edges a little bit neater is you're just going to want to slip this first stitch like so. So we're not going to knit it, we're literally just going to move it over onto that right handed needle um, and then we're going to knit. So this is the first row of stocking stitch. Just knit like so. As we did in the first video, if you missed the first video I recommend going back to it. I've put a link in just there now for you on the screen and now we come to the end of this row. So what you need to do is you're going to slip this one too. So again we are just going to swap that onto that needle. Nice and easy. And now we're going to learn to purl. So although we slipped this stitch last time, we're going to purl it this time. So instead of going in this way, like when we're making a stitch or when we are doing a knit stitch, we're this time going to go in the back of the stitch like so. We're going to take our yarn and we're going to wrap it around the right hand needle in an anti-clockwise direction. And then we're just going to pull it straight back out of this stitch here and then take it off. I'll show you again. So we go in, round anti-clockwise, underneath and off. In, round anti-clockwise, we're going underneath this time and off. Nice and easy. See? Do a few a bit quicker. And then again, in, round, and off. And that is the purl stitch. And again, with this slip stitch, we're going to purl it. Okay. And I'll show you again. So this is another knit row. So we're going to slip that one. So on the knit rows, you slip the first and last stitch. And on the purl rows, you just purl as if they were any other stitch. going to be a lovely short video so you can get straight back in with your knitting once again I'll put links in at the bottom for the needles let's say I don't have the wall but I will put my current favorite brand in for you and I'm hoping you'll find knitting relaxing like I do and um, and that you're not going too crazy in isolation I hope that you're also finding your tension is a little easier. Whichever way you've found doing it, please comment below. I'm always keen to hear about ways people are holding their tension. Mine po probably is not the best, um, but it works for me. There we go. And there you go. Stocking stitch. It is used so often on so much, and once you can stocking stitch, it opens up a whole new world of knitting. So as I say, I hope you found this video useful. I hope you'll come back when I do more videos. And that you have a good day.